Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel CAD Engineer. In this part, we are going to learn how to create laminates from Excel data. So let's see. So we're going to delete all this part that we have created earlier. I'll delete zone 1. We'll create a new zone. We'll specify all the boundaries again. Here, we're not going to specify the laminates details. Let's do OK. Let's go to our computer. We'll create Excel. Now here, we are going to create one Excel file. We'll right click here. We'll click New and take Microsoft Excel Worksheet. We'll rename this file Zone 1 and we'll remove here X and click and yes. We'll double click on this. We'll specify the details here. So here I have to add a material. We'll mention here material, here direction, and here we'll give that name zone 1 to define the laminates. We'll type here material name. We have to give only those material that is present in our system. So I'll give the name that already existing in our system. We'll define the directions 0, 45, minus 45, 90. And here we'll define the zone, how many plies I require, zone 1, 4, 2, 2, and 3. So here we added total 11 plies. Now let's add this material to all that columns. We'll save this file. And we'll now we'll close this file and import into the software. Let's go to the software. So to take this option, we have this icon here, import laminates. Or if you not find this tool, go to insert. We'll have this option import laminates. We'll take import laminate. We'll go to browse that file. We'll click on this three dots. We'll go to that exactly that folder location where we have created that. So I'll go to desktop. We'll select this file. So when you're selecting this file, make sure the file type is XLS. And also I have just renamed this file to .xls. So we'll select this file and open and do OK. So it's showing us error. One or more material in the Excel text documents are wrong. So as I told you earlier, if that material is not present in our software library, the software will not import it. So let's check the Excel file, what mistake we have did. So here we can see in the Excel file, the material the first material name 814, it's become 15, 16 and 17. So I have to delete that materials. We have to copy paste all the material, all the places and we'll save this file. Now we'll again import this file. So we'll go to import laminates. We'll click on that three dots, select that file and open and do OK. So here we can see the laminates has been successfully imported. We double click on the laminates and we can check that the laminates are present here. So this is how we can import the laminates from the Excel file.